Morning, folks. Decided to go ahead and go with this one this morning, uh, mainly because of the, uh, the, I guess you might say, the setup that I usually go with when I use this particular one. Um, I have a link down below. Uh, reason why I chose that regiment, bro, I think it's pronounced Bravara, but anyhow, it's because of this aftershave. This came out, this one here came out uh, by the same name. It's just, but a different scent. These two, they don't match. <laughs> they don't even come close. But this one here, it came out in 1967. And looking online, and I've got a link down below to the YouTube video of the advertisement of, you know, back in the day. And uh, you can still find these uh, on the web. Uh, new. Uh, I think the aftershave runs, depending on where you source it, uh, I've seen prices go anywhere from, I think, $35 for use, but it goes on up to like 100 bucks, And uh, it gets quite expensive, but this is not a scent that is for everybody. This is definitely a manly scent. In other words, check out the YouTube video that I got linked down below. And you kind of see what I'm talking about. It talks about somebody that follows a different drummer. This scent is a manly scent. And there's going to be some folks that won't like this one. Uh, because it is a uh, it is a manly scent. It's deep. Uh, get what I would consider rich. Uh, maybe even heavy. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a manly scent. But my wife got me this uh, a while back. And I really do like it. It's a... Uh, but like I say, for some folks, they won't, they won't like, they won't like that scent. And, uh, you know, just because the namesake, in other words, the two have both the same name. So I like to use them both together, even though the scents aren't even close to each other. But anyhow, like they say, I'll have a link down below. And uh, got it whipped, uh, the soap whipped up here in the fine accoutrements uh, lathering bowl. Whipped up pretty good. Now this brush is a uh, Volfix. Uh, this one here is a Super Badger. And look at that, isn't that, it just, this, it just mushrooms out. It looks like a mushroom, like, on the top. It's just really cool. Anyway, um, I am not the most knowledgeable when it comes to uh, badger knots. Um, of all the brushes that I've used, I started out with boar, horsehair, and then, you know, synthetics, and, and then now, you know, to a degree, off and on, uh, with some badger knots. I'm um, not the most proficient and knowledgeable about them, but um, I do find them pretty interesting when they <laughs> when they do that. Um, this one here, uh, this one's uh, what they refer to as, you know, it's uh, like a, a turtle. Um, I, I got this at the Superior Shave Shop, and I haven't been able to find another place, I guess you might say, that sells one that looks just like this one. I see a lot with the Fox Ivory, of different you know handle shapes and whatnot but not looking just like this one here so i am not too sure if they make those anymore um i'm going to go ahead and uh put i already put a hot towel to the face this morning and go ahead and get started with the uh, pre-shave soap here but back to the brush um you know words, you could have a hard time finding this one i don't remember exactly what the model number is i can't remember if it's like model number two two three five um, 2275 maybe? I can't remember what the number is. You know, all these model numbers with all these brushes and, you know, it's it's a bit of a chore to keep up with, as you could probably imagine. But as it goes for the badger hair itself, it it works fine for me. Even that, that though, uh, face it, uh, when it comes to quote-unquote favorite brushes or brushes that... I am very familiar with, uh, I have to say, in other words, boar, horsehair, as it goes for natural bristle, those uh, brushes work well for me. I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm used to them, I'm, I'm accustomed to them, and Badger was one of the last ones I started with. Last to the game, I guess you might say. Uh, even when it comes to synthetic, I'm familiar with different guess you might say generations of synthetic brushes and uh, I have learned how to lather with them different soaps shaving creams with them and still learning how to use this one here in other words if I had to use uh, one of these with a face lather 
<laughs> it would be quite a challenge. It's challenging for me already, <laughs> much less uh, trying to do a face lather with one of these. But this, uh, it's, to me, this was an excellent buy. I think I picked this up under 30 bucks or right at 30 bucks. And the prices I see on uh, most of them nowadays are well beyond that. So when the Superior Shade was uh, closing these out, got an excellent buy, that's for sure. Now, the way I understand it, and I could be wrong, that the knot, in other words, the badger hair, is the same hair that is used in The Simpsons. I think that's what the story is. Shaver of the day. From the... Um, Classic shaving, in other words, if you go over to their website, I got a link down below, Occam's razor. This would be one of the uh, razors, this one here is referred to as the Enoch. And uh, it is what you see is what you get with this one here. And that it doesn't come with additional plates, you can't get additional plates for it or anything like that. So, in other words, whatever shave you get with this is what you get. It's not a, I guess you might say, adjustable or anything quite like that. It's got a um, kind of pink, and I think this is like the four shave on this blade. And um, for me, now this head is smaller. So if you shave underneath your nose, this might be one that you might be interested in. I think it's out of stock. Matter of fact, a lot of stuff uh, in the way of these particular shavers are out of stock. I know a number of places... Uh, regardless of what you're looking for. Uh, supply seems to be a problem. So hopefully, maybe, hopefully sooner than later, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe our supply issues will straighten out and eventually get back to normal, but I'm starting to wonder if that's going to be the normal. The norm is that it will always going to be outages of something. But for me, it's smooth and comfortable. I don't have a problem with this shaver. I have to say, I have had really good luck with single-edge shavers. I find that they're easy to get the angle, uh, get smooth, comfortable shaves. I mean, as long as they're not too terribly uh, aggressive. And then you really have to get used to the shaver and learn how to finesse it, if you will, to suit your liking. Even with the number of shaves on this particular blade, it's still very smooth. I have a lot of fun shaving with these. <clears throat> Here pretty soon, I've got lined up a, um, going to do a <laughs> face lathering shave. <laughs> I uh, got a soap stick already picked out and whatnot. I've had it picked out since the week before last. I guess you might say trying to make sure I'm in the right frame of mind to give it a try. I'm not the best at face lathering by any means. But I do like to try it from time to time. See if maybe a light bulb will come on and things will go a lot better for me. Because I know it seems like it's quite a challenge for me face lathering. I like the bowl lather. It's, it's For me it's always been easy to do. I think part of the trick on the bowl lathering is not necessarily the bowl as opposed to make sure that you, uh, for one, get plenty of product in the uh, container. Whatever bowl you plan on using, just make sure you got plenty of product. And start out with a brush that is, uh, let's say damp, not necessarily soaking wet, and slowly add water. That way you figure out where your sweet spot's at. Same thing with boar. Boar, badger, whatever the case might be. I've uh, been working with a, I've uh, got this brush, it's a Yaki brush. I've got more one of these now. I've got a total of three. But two of them that I got uh, were uh, considered to be defective. And uh, this one here has been shedding. Um, like uh, Tony, our German Shepherd in the middle of July. <laughs> but... Um, for me, uh, I paid, what, $7 free shipping? Uh, excellent buy. But I've been lathering off camera with that one, and uh, it is doing quite well. 
even though it's shedding quite a bit, which doesn't necessarily bother me none. It, I'm more interested in, in how, uh, the, I guess you might say the bristles are progressing and how it's lathering, and it's doing quite well. In the last shave, the, it, uh, the shedding has slowed down quite a bit, so. But it is possible to find good buys on brushes, depending on what you're after. And I do have some that I like. $7 for a brush is pretty inexpensive. And I've got some that are even cheaper than that. That lather just fine. They're, this one here is a good looking brush, but I've got a Volfix. I can't remember off the top of my head what the number is. Matter of fact, it's just right here. Yep, here it is. I think I picked this up from Modern Man for under three bucks, if I remember right. And it has, uh, it's got a bore knot. It works fantastic. I mean, it lathers up. Yeah, it's a little pokey, but <laughs> it doesn't bother me any. But you can find some inexpensive brushes that'll lather up just fine. Um, Omega's got a, a good lineup of a bore and synthetic ones that you can get right around the anywhere from, well under 10 bucks. A lot of times right around the $5 mark, plus or minus a dollar, depending on where you're looking. Uh, you can find some, some awesome brushes th that aren't going to break the bank. And especially if you're looking at trying to stretch your product, the way I look at it, the smaller the knot, the better. It'll lather up just fine. And it won't hold near as much product either in the in between the bristles and whatnot. I have to say, I have not used this brush very much. This is probably what the third time maybe I've used it, maybe a little, maybe fourth, but it is pretty soft. At least by my standards. I have to I guess you might say understand I'm used to using a bore, so pokey is not a problem. Horsehair, uh, <laughs> I fell in love with horsehair. They're a joy to use for me. They refer to them as the poor man's badger. But I tell you what, I've had good luck with them. There is just a slight difference in my opinion. And I don't know if everybody will notice it when it comes to horse hair. Uh, the black or the dark uh, horse hair is a little bit stiffer bristle than, let's say, the white. White's usually the softest. At least my experience has been that way. But I don't consider it to be a huge difference. Very smooth. I mean, this is, for me, this is a great shaver. I always get great shaves with this shaver. Haven't got a bad one yet with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And especially great to start out on Monday with one of these kind of shaves. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot of singing. We'll find out. Sometimes as the blade goes on, I don't always notice the... The little nicks that you get during a shave, not that you're bleeding or anything like that, no weepers, but the shave isn't quite as, <clears throat> excuse me, as nice as uh, you think it is until you use that Allen block and it lets you know. I have to say that's one of the nice things about uh, getting your routine down is that you'll get pretty consistent with your shaves. What works best for you. I only got a little bit of stinging right there. And I think that might be from the previous shave. Might be trying to get something to come up. Every once in a while, you know, you get a blemish, a bump, or something of the sort that tries to come up. Just a great shave. It's always nice on a Monday to get a nice, smooth, comfortable shave. Sterling Witch Hazel unscented, methylated, nice cooling effect. <clears throat> Our temperatures are finally here in Oklahoma. It's starting to drop, getting around the uh, 
the highs are closer to 90 as opposed to 100. <laughs> so it kind of gives you that impression that maybe fall is actually going to come and we're not going to jump straight from summer to winter. Uh, there are some years that it seems like that's that's the case, that we just seem, we don't have much of a fall. We just go straight straight to winter and it's kind of strange sometimes how that happens. Nice cooling effect this morning. Like I said, though, if you're interested in something from days gone by, um, this one here is definitely a vintage one. Now, this cap, it, it it is easy to get it tightened up because of the way it's designed. You can get it on there pretty darn snug. And it do, they do have the uh, the clone to go with it also. But like I said, this is a, uh, it's a manly scent. And it's got that kind of restrictors, whatever the glass container is. My wife found this at a thrift store, believe it or not. Brand new, never been used. She was out shopping and found it, picked it up for me. Brought it home, I was totally, really surprised. I had never heard of it before. Didn't have no knowledge of it, but boy, it smells so good. Such a manly scent. In other words, it's not going to be your basic run-of-the-mill, what you can usually find at the store nowadays. Yeah, not this one. <laughs> it smells great. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.